Located somewhere in a rundown coal mining town, lays this old neo Gothic church. For centuries, this was a place where people could practice religion. But at some point in time, this old historic church had to close its doors. All kinds of artifacts were left behind after the closure. Even some rather disturbing ones. We are starting right off with main highlight. The prayer hall itself. In here the decaying grandeur of the church is truly visible and quite imposing to see. From the beautiful stained glass picture on a medieval themed scene to the large neo-gothic style stone arches. This all shows and tells you the historic significance of this place. But how exactly did such a beautiful place end up like this? For this we have to travel back in time. The church was first mentioned back in 1245. At the time being it was just a small chapel. Throughout the years the church got partially destroyed on multiple occasions due to wars and raids of several other countries. This destruction caused the evolution of the church into the structure we are located in now. At the time of the industrial revolution this town where the church was located quickly grew making the church a more busy place than ever before. This town was mostly known for coal mining. The mining of coal decreased in the 1950s in the whole area. With this the last mine closed down in 1964. The money generated in the town quickly dried up. This resulted in the upkeep of the church getting harder and harder. Let's venture a bit further into the church. On the Bible stand some quite disturbing items could be found. These are human remains. How these ended up here were probably from the graves broken open inside the church itself. These open graves were probably located under these wooden boards. Some still not opened graves remained. These were all decorated by carved in symbols. The people buried here were influential families, dating back from the 1400s till the 1700s. Near the main entrance are the confession booths. In these carved out booths you could tell your made sins to a priest. These booths were all beautiful example of the gothic style. Behind these a small maintenance room was located. Oh what? Fuck. Hey that's fat scene. And then kijk. Oh. Yeah, it is best eng toch? Yeah, it is wel eng. So the power was still partially working. Why this was the case is truly a mystery to us. Let's continue to the pulpit of the church. The pulpit is the place where the priest would stand to tell his message. This church housed this beautiful wooden pulpit, which was decorated by all sorts of carved wooden faces and people. The pulpit stands symbol for the mountain Jesus Christ was preaching from.
Upstairs you could witness the date 178. This is probably the date of when the pulpit was made. For the last highlight, we are heading up to the old organ of the church. In the early 90s, the church had to close its doors due to it becoming unstable. After this, a renovation was started, but never finished due to a lack of funds. With this, the church got abandoned. We reached the organ, giving us an overview of the church. With this, we'll conclude our exploration of this historic church. Unfortunately, many historic churches are often getting abandoned and neglected due to a decrease in faith. The future of this church is unknown, but hopefully this grand building will be safe from demolition. <laughs>